Bhuthivikramakesari came out from the place where the chanting took place and jumped on the horse there. He hurried towards the northern gate of Tanjore Fort. At the same time he saw an elephant approaching the northern gate. On top of the elephant was a male elephant and two women. The elephant kept the horn in his hand and hummed for a while. Then he said in a high-pitched, high-pitched voice and clearly Vanatha Devi, the wealthy daughter of the small velar of Parantha, the great velar of Kajumbalur, the foster daughter of Bhuthivikramakesari, the great velar Sinadipati, and the dear friend of the younger Prati Kundave Devi of old, is coming. Barag! Barag! Let go! When he reached the bank of the moat near the fort gate he blew the horn once more. Before the echo stopped, he again said in the same screeching voice the Kajumbalar Princess Vanati Deviyar is bringing a message from the younger Prati to the Emperor. From the great Palyavetare to the little Palyavetare. Open the fort door. Barag! Barag! Give way at once to the Kajumbalar Princess and her friend Punghuali Amai. Open the castle door. It cannot be said that the astonishment of Senapati Bhuthivikramakesari was so great when he heard the call of the elephant. It seems that the voice of the elephant has been heard somewhere, sometime. Who is he who is the elephant and what if? The first thing to know is whether the elephant is on top of the sky or not. Want to stop her from entering the castle? If it's heaven, it's going very well. It is better that the child stays with us until all these problems are resolved. Thinking thus, the commander left his horse and reached the elephant's vicinity. One of the soldiers who rushed after him brought a torch. Seeing the rest of the elephant in its light, it became clear that both the women were Vanathi and Pungaze Lyanthan, the daughter of a small velar. Baby! Heaven! Before he could say anything, the elephant started blowing his horn again. How to make him stop? Fortunately, by this time the women on the elephants were looking intently at who was on the horse approaching them. Immediately, Vanati said something to the elephant and he stopped the sound of his horn and said, Great father! Is it you? What I have heard is true. She said. Yes, child. It's me. But what's so strange about this? You're the one caught to bring the news? No one else gets caught by Ile Abrati. Especially in this situation. Said the commander. Yes, grandfather. It is because of this state of affairs that they sent me with a message. They have sent me with an army and are surrounding the fort of Tanjore. If they send someone else, they may be stopped by their own soldiers. Even if they allow it, the people inside the fort may refuse to open the door. They have sent me to say that it would be advantageous for both parties to send me. They also sent a flower pot to the companion. Yes, yes. This runner girl is very wicked. I knew that before. But what message did you bring? What was so urgent a message to be sent so late at night? It is urgent news, great father. I have brought news to the emperor about Pani's suitor. Aha! Uh -huh. About Bonnie's lover? Do you know anything about him? Why? I know so much. He is a hero, a warrior, a surati surer, one who does not drown in Kaveri, who does not drown even if he falls into the sea, who does not abandon others, who does not forget to thank those who help him in danger, who is devoted to his mother and father, who does not break his word, who does not desire a kingdom. Enough! Enough! I didn't hear all that. Is the prince all right? Do you know where he is now? He's safe, Grandpa. I know where he is now. But you can't tell them. What? You can't tell? You can't tell me too? Are you talking, Vanati? Yes, Great Grandfather. I am speaking. I have vowed not to tell anyone where the prince is. Sinadipati Bhuthivikramakesari was furious and filled with anger. He said, Girl. If I send you to the younger brat, she will bring you up well. Have you brought her up to be so stubborn? Enough, enough. You've been in the old room enough. Get down. I'll send you to Kajumbalar and look again. Grandpa. 
I don't want to tread the soil of Tanjavur either. That's why I'm sitting on an elephant. This elephant often gets religious. This morning it threw a man. So don't come too close. I'll come to them after telling them the news I've brought. Even if I'm sent to Kajumbalur. Send it away. Don't hold me back just now. Vanatha said. Bhutavikramaksari thought for a while and said, All right, daughter. I will let you go without stopping. What will you do if the castle door doesn't open? Said. Great father. You have come with such a large force? Why? If the castle door won't open, send your forces to break open the door. Vanatha said. Bhutavikramaksari was proud to hear this. Daughter. You have spoken as Kajumbalar Gomis ought to speak. I will do so if necessary. But it will not be necessary. Who is this little Pulvatarayan, who has brought a message from the younger Brady to the Emperor, to stop you? He will never do such a thing. But tell the little Pulvatarayan a message for me too. While you are in the fort. Tell me that even the slightest harm befalls you, I will exterminate his clan from Punto. Tell me that I and my companions have come to see the Emperor in person and learn his will from his words. Tell him that if he does not allow us to visit the Emperor before daylight tomorrow, we will start attacking the fort, said. So be it, great father. Vanatha said. Again the elephant sounded his horn. Give way to the Kajumbalar princess. Open the castle door. He shouted. <laughs>